So, um, Jordan, on a scale from 1 to 10, it's... Uh, <laughs> You're gonna get frostbite! <laughs> No water. So we're hiking to get out of the mess. Just leaving our worries behind. All of our pipes froze, and fortunately the heat's still working. But we don't have any water, and our outlets are kind of broken, so we thought, let's just go on a hike today. At least this morning, to get our minds off of the mess. So first our pipes froze, well our water hose, so we insulated that and did all the DIY wrapped tinfoil and heat tape and insulated the pipes. And so now that's not frozen anymore, but our, our gray tank lever is frozen and now our kitchen sink is frozen. So we're going to go buy insulation, insulation and make a skirt. No better day to skirt your RV than when it's snowing out. We have no idea what we're doing. What are we looking for? We are looking for uh, insulation. He looks helpful. This guy said to get the blue one. Who did? The guy I talked to today. Which guy? The RV tech. Oh, really? Yeah, of course he said that. It's twice as much money. That's so much. And we need 14. No way. Send help. We have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> Process is uh, do your research before you decide to go in the middle of the winter with your RV. <laughs> and don't be naive about it. <laughs> we like to wing it. Yeah, you can't really wing it in the winter. So now we're getting these foam boards into our trailer so that we can prevent that cold draft from whipping underneath and freezing our pipes. I don't know how this is going to work with our truck, but... But we borrowed ratchet straps, is what they called it. Is that the technical term? How many do you think we need? I don't think we need 15, that's a lot. Wish us luck. This is, uh... I don't Ladies know how gentlemen, I, do your research. I'm not sure how I would describe the, the feelings I'm having right now. Uh, elation. I'm thrilled. Ecstasy. My body is convulsing. Bro. I don't even know if we're doing this right. Yeah, we are. We're definitely not. You don't think we are? No, but it's okay. So the current situation is we fixed the heater to thaw the pipe, but we're still insulating. Um, and here's our little door, so we get in and out. You can just take a look. So, there's our heater right there, and here is the drain. See, it's frozen, but it's, it's dripping like crazy, which is awesome. It's cold, it's heat. It's slushy. This is amazing, yeah. Almost stalled out, this guy's doing a great job. Thank you. And that's our, ooh. Ooh, that smells. Yeah. Poop, babe. Yeah. Put my hand in poop? Probably. Ew. I wonder if we're gonna have to like buy black tape to tape over the gray tape. This is my favorite part of our being. Guys, I almost died walking back to the RV because it's like 10 degrees outside and really icy, and I was carrying. All of our laundry, right there, and I got lost. And now I came home, and Pete says that our outlets, we fried them. <laughs> we were we built a skirt around our RV so that we could de-thaw or thaw out, not de-thaw, thaw out our pipes and our water because our kitchen sink doesn't work. Our gray tank is full, but our valve is stuck, so we can't pull it. It's frozen, so we built a whole skirt in 15 degree weather, and we put a heater down there. And a heater in the bay. And what do we do? We blew out the circuit. <laughs> Pete's really happy about it. If I could best describe how I feel in one image, I'd point the camera over there. Look. <laughs> oh, Russ. Russell. That's, that's how I'm feeling. <laughs> Look at our RV. <laughs> 
This is the life, guys. When everyone says hashtag RV life, it looks like eating burgers over your sink with a headlamp and dishes because your pipes froze. Probably should have gone to Florida. We have no idea what we're doing. Will we survive the winter? This is an accurate description of how we feel. Russ, how do you feel about losing our electricity and our water? I know, me too. Someone send help. This is Pete. How's it going under there? I think we should just use a wrench for this, but if the pizza so strong. Guys, we're so excited about our new sink. Can you tell? Look how snazzy it is. Old sink, new sink. So, current situation, sink faucet down, replacement in. Beautiful, you know, this is the it's not great. fun part of RV living. Russ doesn't want to do it with him. Look at this magic! Water! I'll never take for granted water again.